What's going on guys? <laughs> I gotta talk about this. This happened today. There was this attractive woman who wanted to rent my BMW X5. Now, it goes through, I approved the request, right? And then in all my ads, I have make an appointment, just don't show up. Well, she disregarded all that. She showed up and she um, called me and was like, I'm here. Now, I was here making videos and I told her I would be there at 1230. And then she said, that's inconvenient. I'm already here. And then I went back and I was like, if you had followed the instructions, very simple instructions, you would not be waiting because you would have known that I would not be there. You're just going to have to wait. Right. And I just had a feeling because I was, um, I got that message and I had to go to Goodwill and drop off some stuff. Then I had to drop off a package that I sold on eBay. And then I had a feeling she was going to cancel. And then, you know, I get to, and I had another person picking up. So I went ahead and checked her out. And then I went in and I saw that she had canceled the X5. And I was like, no problem. Right. And then I get this message. You were quick to take my money, but you know, when I text you, boy, you need to respond. And I went ahead and like I said, I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood. So I just went back as like, look, if you had followed simple ass instructions, you wouldn't have been waiting. Uh, I'm glad that you canceled because you would have been a problem. Because this is one of the things that I've consistently run into people with attitudes. Uh, the chick who had the BMW had attitude, play a player from the Range Rover had attitude and whenever there's attitude. And then we get into this hate fest where I'm like, you know, you got all these old cars and blah, blah. I'm like, you tried to rent one. You tried to rent one. It was funny, right? And it just goes on and on and on and on. And she has one of those. And once again, because she's attractive, she's used to men just falling over and, you know, because for some reason, I guess she felt that I should have been there, even though I had pointed out that I don't stay in office and you need to set an appointment. And one of the things is I didn't have the time. And, you know, I think this is kind of funny because based upon, I mean, it's just stupid. The things she was saying, going on, talking about the name of my company and everything. But she was trying to rent. She was trying to rent. And I was just sitting there like she would have been a problem. She would have been a problem. She would have been a huge, huge problem. Now, I filed a police report today. And I expect to get that car back possibly as early as Sunday. And right now that's someone who's just showed up who wants the car. I'm doing the video. And this, this is one of the things that um, people will not do. I consistently get this with people who will not leave a message. They will call over and over and over and over. And I refuse to answer the phone because more than likely there's someone there to pick up a car, but they didn't let me know they were coming and now they're there and they want to get the car and they're going to have to wait until I finish this video before I get to back to them. Because this is one of the things that I'm seeing with the lower echelons, a lack of communication skills, a lack of decorum and the inability to follow simple ass instructions. I don't, this is why they're poor. They're not poor because there's some, big man up in the clouds manipulating every no they're poor because they don't know how to conduct themselves and this chick i blazed her i was like i got other companies i don't need your money trick because essentially i was like she canceled and uh someone else tried to get it they didn't have the money so i just went ahead and because this is something else i'm doing people who put in a request and i try to get the money because this is trending and we're messaging them that, hey, you need to turn your debit card on, or, you know, and essentially it's like, I just reject them. It's like, look, please do not put in a request unless your card or your money's right. 
because it's annoying. And I just reject them and keep it moving because I have done that several times and maybe three or four times the card was turned on where I could approve it. The most, the majority of the time, if their, their card doesn't work, they're, it, it's a sign. It's just a sign of what's to come. It's a sign of what these people are going to be like to work with in the future. So that's the new policy, but we're about to get the BMW back because I, I called the police today and it's on the, it's going to be on the wire. It should be on the wire now. And they're going to be looking for the car. And I did not tell them, I told them it's like, bring the car back. I sent them a letter. I said, Hey, bring the car back today or my next call is going to be to police. And I hope they get arrested because this, this don't make no damn sense. You got my car. You're not paying for it, but you're driving it. And you think I'm just going to kick back like next month. We're going to get really, really tight. I got a car that I got to go pick up maybe next week before I get to pick up because my assistant has COVID or maybe I'll get one of the women I'm dating to take me to pick up the car. Because once again, I'm finding this out. I'm finding out so many, many things, so many, many things about this business. And we're getting on top of it because uh, this month I'm probably going to do 22. And if it wasn't for the yard bird in the BMW, it'd be a 24, $25,000 month. 24, and that wouldn't have been with full utilization. Because like I said, I figured out that if I have 25 cars with high utilization, that's $30,000 a month. And I should be getting the Mercedes back today. And I got three cars in the shop. I'm going to let them sit in the shop because I'm getting three cars, I got to pick them up and lift and pick them up and lift. So I'm probably just going to let them wait because it is, um, it's Friday and I'm just going to let it wait because essentially the Lexus goes out. I have the BMW, I have the Range Rover and they will probably go out this weekend. And at that point I will be out of cars. I will be selling the Acura, but man, this, this is so funny. And this is something I'm going to speak about at the Lost Kings. Just because a chick is attractive doesn't mean that I'm going to bend over backwards for her. Cause I'm like, she was cute, but she's crazy. Cause she went on and on and on and on and on. And I'm just sitting there like, man, we just admit, we dodged a bullet. We dodged a bullet. This would have been crazy. So, I am like starting to cook with gas because like I said, I moved. I'm almost, I got my dishes, I got my dishes, I got my pots. Cause essentially when I moved out of the house, I got rid of everything. A lot of that stuff was 12, 10, 15 years old. I got rid of the dishes. I got rid of the glasses. I got rid of the coffee pot. I got rid of everything and just went ahead and started from scratch in the new space with new stuff. And these lamps, I'm, I'm about to give these lamps away because I saw some hot lamps that I wanted. Just ordered some art. So we're, we're cooking with gas. We're cooking with gas. But man, yeah, the whole thing with this, because like Sunday is the 31st, which is Halloween. And I am going to begin to, I'm going to work on my policy because I'm going to have a written policy and it's going to be, and I'm going to tape it to the steering wheel so they cannot, but read it and like talk about the tires and all this other stuff. And I'm going to write it out. Like if you feel that you're going to be late, just bring the car back. I would hate to have to call the police on you. I've had, and I'm going to put in there. I've had eight people arrested for keeping my cars and not paying me. Look, if you have your money's funny, you can't pay me. Not a problem. Just bring the car back. But if you think that you're going to keep my car and not pay me and just drive around, I am going to call the police on you. And just go ahead and, and start putting that knowledge in their heads to head this stuff off because this month, except for the BMW and well, the BMW, the black 35D with the girl put 14,000 miles on the car. That was kind of last month going into this month, but she had the car a month. Um, it's been rather uneventful because I've been turning cars off, picking them up, turning them off, picking them up. And I got a little wrinkle because I got one car that's off. And like if he, you know, he said he was going to go get the money. It's like get one of your friends to run you to get the money. He didn't do that because that tells me he doesn't have the money because this is a new policy. Once I cut the car off, I'm not cutting it back on. I'm going to go get it 
and I'm going to be done with that renter because there's like a lot of really good renters. And one of the things that I'm beginning to understand is I need to pull my cars out the hands of the bad renters and to get with the good renters. Because one of the things that I'm consistently seeing is people are, are trash. They're just trash. They're like, once again, the two day rental <clears throat> is the gateway to hell because they'll rent the car for two days and then they'll instantly go late. Uh, what I'm going to do is start dehorsing those people. I'll turn the car off instantly and for the second wave, like the first wave is the current fleet. The second wave begins January and I'm, I'm going to do it totally different, totally different. It, I'm just going to go ahead and spend the money and get the extra key. So every car is going to have two keys and you know, we could call this first wave, my, my training camp, my mini camp, because I've learned so much. And one of the things I'm getting ready to do is I'm going to buy nicer cars. I know that sounds crazy with all the videos that I put up, but I'm going to buy nicer cars because I feel there is a market where I can rent out cars for 70 bucks a day and 70 bucks a day with full utilization is about 23,000 bucks a year. I think it's 1700, 10 times 17. It's about 20, 20, about $22,000 a year. And that's the market that I'm going to serve. And one of the things I'm going to do is if you're not, if you have no higher car experience, you cannot get one of those cars. I'm cutting that off because that's where the majority of my issues have been with people who are new to hire a car, who got in one of the cars, messing up tires. So I'm going to put it up there that you would need to have a minimum of three to four successful hire car rentals before you can rent this car. I will check. And that's just going to cut it off because I've ridden with Uber drivers and they're calling again. Versus leaving the message, they're calling and they're calling because one of the things that is just kind of funny and something else too, many people are not mechanically inclined like a flat tire. I'll get a call for a flat tire and the car will actually have a spare tire in the trunk. A lot of people don't know how to do anything. And it, it, it's crazy how this stuff happens. So. Like I said, the second wave, I'm getting nicer cars. I'm actually going to do some car shopping today for January because what I feel November is going to pay off the credit card and December is going to give me like about 20,000 to invest in a new car. And once again, I'm going to a whole new policy, whole new everything. And it's just funny because the ratchetness, because I have a feeling that this chick who tried to rent the BMW X5 is her first rental. I, I'm almost sure of it based on her behavior because, you know, she was kind of like, you know, your girlfriend after you break up, you, you were giving her the business. All of a sudden now you got a little dick, all this other stuff. She's that type. So it, it's kind of funny. So guys, we got some training. I'm going to watch this video and I'm going to put together a comprehensive package because there are many of you who want hustlers kung fu disruptive male and the masculine frame i'm gonna put all that together so you can go ahead and get into that so that's all i got for you today it's a crazy day it's a friday i'm making videos i'm renting cars i got lots of stuff to do and i'm watching them build this building it's very interesting they're going floor by floor pretty interesting so i guess they're working on I don't know what floor that is, but the crane is only so tall. So I know that they can only go so high, but yeah, that's all I got, man. Once again, we're cooking with gas. We got a lot of training coming on and a lot of stuff that's going on. And there's a video at the lost mail, not the lost mail, the lost Kings, because here's the thing, all of these little haters. And once again, let's be, let's make no mistake about it. If you're coming to my channels, the lost Kings, you're coming to Hustlers Kung Fu and you're coming to Savage Money and you're leaving your disparaging comments, you're harassing me and I've not done shit to you. You are a fucked up person. All of you people who are leaving these comments and stuff, 
and like literally I've had people go from channel to channel to channel and you know what it's jealousy because I'm successful I am more successful than your weak moist bitch asses I'm way more successful and you can't stand it and yeah I like young pussy yep and all these folks who got something to say about it kiss my ass and fuck you because I'm gonna keep fucking younger women. I got a date tonight with a woman who's 32. I am 55 years old. That's how I get down. So sorry you can't get down because you're a slave to conventional thinking because you're not a free thinker. You can't think for your fucking self. You just do what everyone else tells you to do with your weak ass. Yeah, I said that. That's a message from Glendon Cameron from me to all of you fucking haters. That's what you are, you're a hater. You're not like a normal person. And also let's, let's, let's go ahead and get into it. A normal person wouldn't go to someone's social media and start leaving disparaging comments if that person didn't do anything. A normal mentally healthy person. A lot of y'all are fucked up. You're really fucked up. You're fucked in the head. It is funny, but that's all I got. So I will see you guys. Check out this next commercial. That's what it is. That's what I titled. And I will see you guys in the next one. This video, Cool Cats and Cool Girls, is sponsored by Hustlers University, where we teach you how to hustle. We teach you how to start your first side business, where we teach you how to start a business that will make you $1,500 to $5,000 on top of your job in the next three to five months. So this is what I got for you. You will go here to H undergrad. All links are below and you can do a thousand dollars to get in one time payment, or you can do 30 payments of $50, or you can do 15 payments of $99. Because what this curriculum will do is teach you how to hustle. It will teach you how to do resale. It will teach you so many things because what is cool about this is it's just not a course it is we, we provide you with a pathway and what is that and the first comment is the schematic of the things that you have to do and right now there's literally five months of training and instruction in Hustlers University to get you started so once you start diving in you're going to be working for the next five months and you're going to do some of the courses concurrently and you're going to build your first side business so go ahead act on this opportunity the price isn't going to change so you can get in get your money together so you can start to level up once again the link is below in the first comment and hopefully you will be part of the hustlers kung fu family also Coming soon, everyone that signs up for Hustlers Kung Fu and essentially what we have here is B-School for Hustlers is the grad school. This is like getting your MBA. This is like the MBA, the corporate papers. And if you go ahead and sign up for Hustlers Kung Fu and you want the corporate papers, whatever you pay for Hustlers Kung Fu University, we will take that off so and give you a discount code so you can get into the corporate papers when you're ready. I know many of you don't really care how you make money, and I understand that now. So I'm going to teach you how to do resale. I'm going to teach you how to do Craigslist. I'm going to teach you how to do service businesses and all of this stuff. Once again, that first link under the video is where you can access all of this juicy training. So let's go ahead and get into this video.